How are you guys doing? I know it's been a little bit. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm actually looking for another uh, another camera guy and editor. I know I did not lose the one that I have. I just have so many projects going on. Speak the truth. We just launched another channel called Dispose, which we're doing like some wild documentaries. And my main camera guy is actually going to Ukraine on the 27th of this month. It's going to be there for over 30 days. So all these videos are going to be editing and doing everything myself. And I have been for a little bit. Uh, so if you guys would like to come and work for me, I have a spot open full-time job editor, videographer. Uh, you got to live down here in Dallas, not none of that remote stuff. And please don't send me any emails if you're like, don't know anything about editing. I know I get a lot of those. I'm not here to teach anybody. This is a full-time job. I know that may sound rude, but if you guys would like to do it, please email me workforlunkers at gmail.com, which is right here. I'll link it at the top of the description. Y'all link it down, whatever you guys, it's just really workforlunkers at gmail.com. Full-time editing job and video. It, it's going to be fun. I'm trying to get the stuff going back on this channel. Uh, I got something I'm about to do here later on inside of this video. This, what are you about to see here has nothing to do with it. I'm just excited. Lots going on, which has to deal with this inside the garage. This thing right here, that, I, I decided, I decided it's time to, uh, it may not be a good choice, but you know, I, I like to do random stuff. So we're gonna do that. But first I gotta get the strings replaced on that. That's pretty much what I'm doing today with that. I ordered strings for that like two months ago and, I, and there's no reason to get the thing all dialed and tuned in when you need to get new strings. So I've been waiting. Today I'm gonna go jump it off, get them replaced. Hey, look at that, we haven't shown you guys these. Well, over here on the channel, you guys have not seen them clearly. Look at this. I didn't sound very good, that wasn't good. Listen to that. Oh God, oh it's just, all right, there it is, look at that thing. Yes, that is the Guggen, that's one of the Guggen reels. This is one of the new rods too. This is a, this isn't a prototype, this is a finished product. The reel itself, I'm gonna tell you, it's not ready to go live. Uh, Rackley and I went out with it. God, this is a little echoey. So Rackley and I did go out and we actually used these things for like four or five hours the other morning. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they're not ready to go. Uh, I, <laughs> We're coming back in. The Guggens are full-fledged coming back in and actually doing a lot of work behind the scenes. We haven't been a big fan of what's going on at the company the last year or so. So now we're coming back in and doing a lot of stuff. Like those reels, if we wouldn't have came back in, probably would have launched. Not a fan of them. I don't think they're ready. So they're not gonna launch, uh, which is a good thing. But these right here are spectacular. Yes, I'm actually wearing some right now. These right here, they don't have, you, liners, you don't have to wear underwear with them. They're awesome. So look, we got three different colors. They're actually launching on the 28th. So those will be up. There's actually only a thousand of each one. So they'll probably sell out this week. Uh, I love these ones right here. I wanted to call them personally. I want to call them nut huggers. They didn't like that name because you don't have to wear any liners and you can like squat down. You can do anything in these things. They're way better than just, they, they came up with the name boat shorts. Another reason why we wanted to come in and start doing stuff in the company because those kind of names are terrible, like boat shorts. Anyway, these will be up on the 28th. They got liners in them. So you don't need to wear your underwear. Look at that. No underwear needed, baby. Just straight free ball. Unless you don't have stuff between your legs and you're just free flowing. Free flowing? I oh, don't know. Wanted to show you guys Hershey's eye. Look at that thing right there. See one's blue, one's normal. She's got a, she had an accident. I, I don't know really what happened. Her eye filled up with blood. She's got a disease or she's got, yeah, I guess you would call it a disease where her blood doesn't really, she doesn't make enough white blood cells and doesn't clot right. And she would have died that night if we didn't bring her in, so. Probably is a good thing to unhook this, huh? And I need to All right, next day we uh I spent two-ish hours, maybe a little bit more than two hours, actually at the archery shop. So I went to go down there, I had custom strings. I put on, the last two years, I put on these custom strings that are made by gas. Uh, they don't have as much stretch in them, they last longer, you don't have as much issues, that's pretty much it. For some reason, I got another Prime, another bow. I hated my Matthews bow with a passion. And then I went back to a Prime. I've had I've had pretty much every single bow I could possibly have that you could buy big box, I guess you'd say. And I, and I went back to Prime because Prime itself, I killed 18 animals in one year with it. And then I went to Matthews. I missed an elk, missed a deer. I just wasn't comfortable with it, so I went back to a prime. Anyway, the guys over the Uncut channel, they know they know this. I actually gave that stuff away. I gave my bows away. I wish I never gave that bow away. It was so good. But this, look at this mess. Look at this, look at this mess on the deck of the boat. My God, look at that. And this side of the garage looks absolutely torn up. I mean, 
<laughs> it literally looks like like I don't keep it clean, but this is all the stuff right here. All this right here is out of the back of my F-250 that is actually at Flair's house because we're giving away my F-250 trimmer that I've had for the last couple. You guys have seen it multiple times on this channel. I love that truck, good truck, but I'm giving it away uh, to an uncut member in December. So he's over there kind of driving it, showing it off and that kind of stuff, promoting it. And when they came, when I, I was just in Belgium, by the way, you know, what? I'm going to roll some clips from there because I cannot, but I got this stand in the trenches from the men in Bastogne. So here's that. I, I just have, this is nuts. Look at this. We just came down that. And then you turn the corner and it goes way, like you can't even, I can't even explain how deep that thing goes in there underground. And then you turn it, it just keeps going. And you put these in there. I can't, this is, I cannot believe this is even here. This is the most insane thing I've probably ever seen when it comes to tunneling systems. Look at this. This is. Okay, so Cammy and I, we just spent, what did we just spend? We spent about an hour inside of Jack's Forest or Bojack, Bojack. I mean, I'm not really good at saying it. Now I'm in another really important spot. There was a, uh, how do I want to put this? There was a, a German tank that was taken out right there. Now the building is over here to my right. This building, which I can overlay an image for you guys, we guys should see, because you'll see the diamond. This building was, had a German sniper inside of it. But this one right here was a, an aid station where the Germans actually went through and then killed all the, the Americans that were actually inside of here getting uh, worked on. This is, that's a, that's a real thing. So they went in and slaughtered all the Americans that were inside of here at one point. But you can see all the bullet holes are still inside of this, on this building. And the top is taken out. They had to repair it. This is the, this is Foy. And there's also another image where I can overlay that's in front of this of a, of a, a German tank that was also taken out in front of this, this chapel. The Americans literally came down here. If you guys ever seen Banner Brothers, this was the road. He came down, he ran all the way through, linked up with the other element, and then had to run all the way back, all the way up into the woods. So this is, it's just kind of crazy to be here and see all this in person. But this was in the back of the truck when I was over in Belgium. And for some reason, I don't know why they took it out. I didn't need any of that. Like that was all inside my deck. All that was inside the deck. I didn't need any of it, but they took it out and they just put it here on the floor. So there's that. But all these batteries that are in here, these gotta go. They've gotta go. Telling you guys right now, this boat, great boat, but you know what, me and Flair have been having discussions and, and what I'm about to do is gonna shock a lot of y'all. It's, it's going to, I know it will. Some of you guys are not gonna understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, some of you guys are gonna think I am, I am pretty crazy, but it's fine. Cause I got a plan. Sometimes I don't think my plan's through at all, but you know what? I wouldn't be going to do it. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. If you guys do not have one of these or even seen these things yet, you guys need to consider getting some of these things. They're absolutely phenomenal. Like look how flat they get, but when they're full or when they're, I guess, open, God, they fit so much stuff. It makes your life like this, all this stuff, a million times easier when it comes to storage. And I'm about to be using these things a ton. There you go. It's called the Guggen Squad Tackle Torter. This is the large one. I just ripped the, uh, the old tag off. Just so you, just so you have like somewhat of an understanding what was inside of there. All this was in the back of that box. And this is all, I don't even know how many of these are in here. That thing is stacked full now. And then that one is completely filled up. So two of these large tackle toters right here, like two of these, look at these. They got good zippers on them too, which is pretty crucial. So your stuff doesn't get super wet if it rains. But two of those, I can confidently say is going to carry, look at that, all the tackle for an entire boat. Like if you had three of those things, more than enough, like way more than enough. So now we got to put this up because this is actually linked directly to the one on the front deck. So you can actually see your waypoints when you have your 360 going. I wanted to change it and I did change it about a month or so ago with Zaldane, but he made it really easy. Just underneath here, just got to reconnect the power. I mean, it's going to take like five minutes, but big thing here is this thing's going to be completely paired up with the front. And I wanted to use Lawrence, want to give it a shot. So I bought one and I think I'm going to stick with it.
All right, so this is day uh, day three of making this video. You'll see here in a second why. It's now actually a weekday over the weekend. I couldn't actually do what I was gonna do here in a second. It doesn't make any sense now, I know. Couldn't go to the bank, is pretty much what I'm saying. So I dropped my boat off. Here you have fun and son. This one right here, if you guys wanna get this boat, you guys need to call Fane. I'll put his number here on the screen. Call Fane. Whoever buys this boat, if you're on this channel and you guys watch the channel, you buy this thing, I will fill this center console full of Guggen soft plastics. Like I'll fill the entire thing full for you. It'll probably be well over a thousand dollars worth of baits. I will fill it up for you. But make sure to give them a call if you guys want to buy it. It's sitting here. It's got five graphs on it. Pan optics, 360. I know. What I'm about to do is really goofy. That thing, it's got 10 foot poles. It's got everything. It's got a bat. I mean, that's probably the cleanest wrap you've ever seen. And it's all there. That boat has never even seen water without a wrap on it. It's got like 30 hours on the engine. It's a phenomenal boat. Great boat. It's here at Fun and Sun. Call Fane. I had to go buy this, the bank. Couldn't do it over the weekend. We had to grab 10,000 10, 10, 10, doll hairs. We got it. We're ready to go. This is, this could be really fucking stupid, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, we are legit 0.2 miles. I haven't bought anything off Craigslist in a little while when it comes to like boats. Oh, come on. It's probably been about five years or so. Ever since I started my channel, I really haven't bought anything off Craigslist. I buy everything from Fun and Son. But we're gonna be buying a boat today. I'm not saying this thing is like a, a terrible boat. It actually doesn't look that bad. A little smaller than I thought, okay. You never know what you're gonna run into when you come in here on, on Craigslist. What do we do? Do we go in here swinging? He's probably gonna be an older gentleman. He said he's owned this boat for a while. Here it is right there. Little tiny thing. Do we go in swinging? Come in low ball like 7,000? He wants 10. Do I pick it apart? I actually love negotiating. Oh my, this thing is just... I drove three hours for this. <laughs> okay. All right, let's give it a shot, I guess. Son of a gun, that thing is... I was I was hoping it had a, a, a swing tongue on it, you know, for my garage, but don't think that's really necessary. You may not have no damn gas. It's pretty low. It's, it's no, like, no, it's got about a half tank in yeah, there. Yeah, about a half tank. Yeah. I'll go ahead and... that bad back here. I guess you had it sitting up next to a dock. That, what happened, we was at, had it parked out at the lake. We was camping and a, uh, a boat, well not a boat, it, her brother-in-law's pontoon boat, it wind blew that night and blew it oh, underneath. Oh, did it? Boat. Oh, damn, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. The guy north said I, sh I should be around 85 on this thing. Uh -huh. um, I don't know much about aluminum. I just trust him. Yeah. And he's saying that I should be around 8,500 as long as the engine ran. Uh, the hole looks really good. The hole looks phenomenal. Yeah. And I was asking. 10. 10 for it. Yeah. And I will come down to, I'd come down to nine, but that's the lowest I'll go. You'll go nine? Yeah. Okay. We'll do nine. I'm right. happy with that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm actually kind of happy. Let me, wait, let me ask him real quick. All right, you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I think we did pretty good. We got it for nine grand. It was online for 10. I feel good about it. Feel good. The hole looks real good. I haven't shown you guys inside the boxes. The engine turned on real quick. One thing we got to do real quick is run over to here to Atwoods and grab a, a connector because I don't have any lights currently, like at all. So we got to get that done because we have a very, like a, almost a three hour ride back home. I drove all the way down here hoping to get this thing for 8,500. We got it for nine. Oh, got it. All right, let's go. All right, let's see here. Chances is actually, oh, I said, just don't fall. Please don't fall. Chances this thing actually works, one in 10. Okay. Craigslist specials already showing, no signs of life. Actually, you know what? Let's turn the lights on. We just got the hazards on. Let's see if the lights actually kick on. Oh, sh oh, we got no lights there. I see some lights there, baby. 
We blinking back here. Oh my God. That one's not blinking. That one's blinking. That one's not blinking. <laughs> this thing is raggedy on top. I'll tell you guys here to say, just give me one second. It's real windy. Let me see if I can get something figured out with these lights. We have lights. Like we actually have some lights. So we know we're gonna have running lights on the back too. So the brakes work. Not really convinced that the right blinker works as of just yet. I could not see. I also think there could have been a little bit of a glare. But as I was walking back, I was looking at what needs to be fixed on this boat. It's pretty significant. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, my plan, I traded in. Oh, wow, trailer's disconnected. No, it's definitely not. I traded in the other boat you guys saw. Trailer's now connected. Oh, this is going to be, it's going to be one of these kind of trailers. So we're going to have to rewire the trailer. I wanted to get something that I have to completely 100% redo from the top bot, like everything. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this boat is not gonna look the same two weeks from now. Like I am 100% redoing everything. And I've always wanted to do this. Back when I used to not buy like brand new boats, like I, I have been, I, I would try to do this. I started out with like a thousand dollar boat, then I got to a $2,000 boat. And then my $2,000 boat had termites in it. And then, and then I, I, you know, I slowly move, 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 work my way up. And then I think when I started making YouTube videos, I had like a, I think I bought like a six or a $7,000 boat and it was fiberglass. It was like a 16 footer. This one is a 17, almost 17 and a half or whatever. I've actually never owned an aluminum boat, uh, but we're going to be doing a ton of stuff to it. And one of the biggest things right now is actually finding engines. Finding engines is extremely hard uh, along with finding aluminum boats so i feel kind of fortunate to get this thing at nine grand and the amount of money we're going to put in this thing we're going to make it the most bad ass aluminum boat you've ever seen in your life i've been working with a guy that's flying down from virginia named tricked tins and he's going to literally help me build this thing out to be one of the coolest aluminum boats like ever in history and i'm going to do the entire thing with him it's going to take us over a week i'm super excited about it but i i, I really want to show you guys the inside of this thing so you have an understanding on how rough it is pretty rough but it is I mean you're getting what you pay for day four of one video all right here it is after some further inspection I'm gonna say right now <laughs> it's, it's, it's so goofy it's got a little toggle switch on there I've never seen before I, was, I haven't shown you guys any of it clearly. I, mean, I have to get through all the warnings. <laughs> this is a trailer. So we drove three hours last night, made it back home. I'm gonna throw it in the garage right now. And I bought this, that thing you guys saw me, I bought that for my other boat because it's so difficult. This house I'm living in right now, it's, it's real tight, real narrow. It's real hard to back, back up into the... Uh, we are gonna be building another house here very soon. I, I are starting to at least. I'm actually waiting till the recession hits so I can build a little cheaper. I already bought the land, so I'm just kind of sitting on it. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to do that one. Just thinking about it. I just texted Rackley and I was like, just imagine a windy day. Oh my God, look at this thing. Forgot to mention, look at that. That's pretty solid. Didn't even take it off, just left it on. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh shit, I just noticed that son of a bitch. Mother. I legit remember asking, is this thing cracked anywhere? And now I'm looking across the top of the thing and it's all cracked. Son of a bitch. Look at that. So that guy shook my hand and he was seemed fairly honest and he said, no, it doesn't have any cracks or anything and it doesn't leak water. 13 seconds after looking at it this morning. I just, you know, I trust people. You know, always tell you, always kind of just trust them. Good old crack right there, which I don't know how I didn't see that one yesterday. And there's also one that runs underneath the trolling motor right there. No idea if that's going to be issues. This thing is not gonna be staying on there. I have no idea if this is gonna cause me too many issues. I can tell you it's been pulled off once before and they did know about it because that's clearly aftermarket and look at that son of a gun. I know it comes with fire ants. There are a few of those things just floating around on this thing, so that's good. I'm excited for this, this build out. I've already seen four or five fire ants up here in the front. Colony of them somewhere. But this is an aluminum deck, so that is a plus look. Aluminum. I don't think he lied to me about that because there is aluminum underneath there. It looks pretty good. What do you guys think? These boxes, yeah, here's that little live well switch I'm talking about. Live well, I don't even know what it says. Oh, open and close, look at that thing. That is, that's a toggle switch right there. It's like, I'm about to take off in outer space. Cool, he left me some sunscreen. Yeah, this thing's amazing. But it does have aluminum deck. 
which is a big deal. And there's fire ants everywhere in this. I may actually want to drag this thing outside, just let it sit for a sec, so it'll keep it in the garage. <laughs> Literally, it's been sitting outside all night and there's fire ants still all over it. Seats, pretty solid seats. I mean, that's high quality, good stitching. That, that's, that's pretty good too. Um, dash is pretty, so, pretty much everything on this boat is, um, God, these fire ants, they're really there. Let's see what else we got. I mean, this, this thing's not gonna be sitting here, just so everybody is aware. I, I'm fair, there's a 40, 40 edge. Yeah, I like how he has it tied off. This is pretty good too. This is how you wanna make sure your trolling motor cables stay, uh, they stay pretty much not up, you know? Um, tie them off to your seat. And then make sure to use some 550 cord. Yeah, he, le he legitimately has his hook cable like tied off with a 550 cord, paracord, 550 cord, whatever you, whatever you guys call it, but I call it 550 cord. To the Good little rod locker, might fit my uh, four foot rods, my ice rods, just in case I needed to get into them, I can't because there's no, uh, no lever here. Can't get in any of these boxes. What do you guys think about this seat? Easy to come up? There's got, uh, it's gotta be a locking thing. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's good. The entire bench moves. Oh, no, it comes up. Oh, more storage. Look at that. Pretty solid. It's got to be like a lock way they're locked or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's down here. <sighs> I don't know. Doesn't really matter. They're not going to stay there. Solid. Some Levi Garrett. Love it. Smells like uh, Zoom's butthole inside that thing. Now here's a question I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to say it yesterday. So when I used to buy and sell and trade like cars back on Craigslist, like back in the day, I, I legitimately in high school, I started with like a $2,000 car and I ended up with like a $3,500 car after doing it like 10 times. But it was really cool, I did it. I did really good things there. What this guy could have done, I don't want to say yesterday, he could have had the engine warmed up before I got there, like went out there and started it, you know? Had it warmed up so it turns on real easy as you guys saw. This is a real test, now. I know the old Craigslist tricks. I know them. Let's just make sure this thing's hard. Mm, a little bit of an issue here. It doesn't seem like it's getting too hard. Ooh, there's fire ants though. I'm gonna pull this outside. There's, there's some fuel coming in there. All right. <laughs> Woo! All right, spurts. You might need a little bit of a tune up. That's pretty solid as well. I think it's got a couple more seasons left in it before the rust really eats through it and just breaks it off and this thing just goes and flying that way pretty pretty much all around but uh yeah these things right here they're all over this boat a little cause for concern because we haven't really gone through the boat and i just now seen this so hopefully that's the only major thing the reason why i think this might be kind of a big deal is because the trolling motor i'm going to put on here is going to be a bit bigger than this this boat's so old that it patent pending on uh the old swivel hitch right there that's good let's go ahead and do this though we haven't we i didn't fully get to do this yesterday because it was too bad right not too bad. The running boards, they look look okay. Look like they have not been changed since the original boat. So those things, who knows? Who knows what those are gonna look like? So with these running boards like this, whenever you guys like literally take the boat off the trailer and then you notice the running boards like doing shit, that's when you're like, oh God. I you ain't gonna know right now. Doesn't look like there's any holes in it. Welds, I mean, it's fully welded, so that's good. <laughs> But I was going to say, uh, I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I know this is the boat that I ride, ride out every day. Well, that's, that's okay. I'm just going to uh, hopefully um, make this thing like probably the most badass tin rig you guys have ever seen be, be, be made on, on YouTube. You know, I, I mean, honestly, I wanted to do this like four years ago, but I didn't have the time and or the space and the knowledge. Now I have the knowledge. I'm flying a guy down who this is literally all he does. Well, I'll hook it up, man. I mean, like the water that I need is it's probably going to be you know, at least $2,500 or $3,000. So I could like rent one for 300 bucks for a week or something. Yeah, 300 bucks sounds better a lot better. That. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I gotta have something decent to be able to weld out aluminum, so. I cannot Let's believe this. All right, let's see. Metal. No, it's aluminum, dude. Awesome. Yeah, even the, even the main floor is aluminum. Because that tracker would not have had any of that. Limo. Damn, that means this entire thing. The front area from the deck to the console. Well, I pulled it back out because I see where the, the fire ants are down in there. I'm just gonna let it sit out today. I mean, if there's no food source there, they're just gonna leave. But 
Oh my God, I'm excited about it. This could be pretty fun. It could be fun, right? I mean, look at this thing. Who doesn't want to work with this? Pretty solid, is this working at least? Yeah, look at that thing, it works. Solid, you might need a little bit of a clean job. <sighs> anyway, I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys are as well. We're gonna turn this thing into the most badass rig you've ever seen when it comes to uh, aluminum boats, I hope. I'm glad to be back to making videos for you guys over here on the channel. I do love you guys. I'm out, let's go and roll it. Sweet sucking mother. I'm out, y'all.